Pass up this just gossip. You shouldn't listen to it. Nothing but trouble. If we all did our duty, then duty would be, be careful. careful. We need to get some more these places can be dangerous. Okay. Do you go to what the fuck are you looking at? Buy a drink, get a life, or get the fuck out of here. All right? Any advice on how I should get a life? Don't take a job in this bar. Don't listen to anything anyone in this fucking town has to say. And don't waste the time of the few good, honest, hard-working people you can find here. Any more advice, you can pay for by buying a drink. William sent me. What do you want? You're not here to collect the Duke's tribute, are you? Good guess. That's exactly what I'm here for. It was no guess. It's years of practice. Let's see if you can do the same. Guess what I'm thinking. Is it A, no chance, B, not a chance in hell, or C, there's really not a chance in hell? Damn it. If you're really set on collecting something, then go and see Rat. He owes me, so you can get my payments from him. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm joking? I've told William a thousand times. I can't pay. So, if you can't get payment from Rat, you won't get it from me because I just don't have it. Teach me something. All right. You. Do you have a second? Do we know each other? No. And that's exactly why I want to talk to you. I need someone with independent interests. You're not involved with any of the mob here, are you? So I'm thinking that you might be the right person. The right person for what? Well, I've got to tell you, I think my days of being stuck in this rat hole might soon be over. I mean, why would anyone want to be here if it wasn't for profit? So, let me ask you, are you interested in earning a few shots? Sounds like a con. You think? And does that mean you wouldn't be interested in a few thousand shots? Okay, tell me the details. <laughs> I knew you would bite. That's a lot of shots for anyone, right? Right, yeah, of course. The thing is, I recently returned from an expedition out into the wastelands. I was looking around in a few ruins for the usual kind of stuff, you know, just the usual. And I came across some knowledge from the old world. And this knowledge, it is so dangerous, it can turn entire regions to desert, or provide them with all the energy they could ever dream of, for real.
How does this earn me thousands of shards? Are you kidding? Imagine what people would pay for this power. What was it you wanted to talk to me about? You're gonna want a part of it. And that's good, because I need help with this thing. As you've probably figured out, I've got a lead. But I've not got the thing I need. Uh, we need. I mean, I had it. I had it right in my hand. But then this asshole partner of mine took it. Stuck a gun in my face and took it. Idiot didn't even know what he had in his hand. So we find him. We find this thing. Is that it? Oh, you don't need to worry about him. I followed his tracks. One well-aimed shot at the back of his head and... Problem taken care of. Only the shot startled some creatures. Damn things popped up out of nowhere and went straight for the body. There was no way I could get to it. So why didn't you kill them? And I was out of ammo. That was my last shot. But you, you got everything you need to get in there and loot the body. You bring back what you find on him, and I'll get you enough elixir so you're set for life. How much elixir are we talking about? Thousands. Maybe tens of thousands of shots. No joke. I have the connections to make this happen. Why are you trusting me with this? Is there a reason I shouldn't? Are you the sort that would run off with the loot? Well, I still wouldn't be worse off, would I? I would have what I want, and you, well... Without my connections, you'd have jack shit. Because I only know of one buyer who can make this work, and he, or she, is only gonna trade with me. So, you'd be stuck with something you couldn't sell. You see, this story only has something for both of us if we trust one another. Do you often shoot people in the back of the head? You think I enjoy doing that? Especially as we've done a few jobs together. But he killed himself when he stole from me. I mean, what did he expect? That I'd just let him steal from me? That I'd roll over and take this? I'll get this thing for you. Of course. Now we're partners. There is a large cliff north of the fort that forms the natural border to Abessa. You should find his remains there, near a few nests. But be careful. Those creatures are still gonna be up there. says you owe her Alexit. And she sent you to collect them? Yes. Well, my friend, I have some good and some bad news. Which do you want first? The good news. Ah, an optimist. You are hoping that the bad news won't be as bad after you've heard the good news. Interesting. Well, the good news is that I can help you get the shards you want. In fact, I know where we can get enough to settle my debt, and more. The bad news is, this is the only way I can think of for getting the shards you want. I am shardless except for the few that I got from you, and those won't cover Chloe's bill. But I wouldn't be rat if I didn't already have a plan. The plan, on the other hand, is part of the bad news, my friend. How so? So this is how I see it. Chloe runs the entertainment district, so there's no way she's not pulling in a lot of Lexit, right? So her being broke doesn't make sense. Unless someone's got hooks into her. So I did some digging, and it seems she's run up a real debt with the Duke. Now, the Duke doesn't normally do debts. He's more the, you owe me, pay now or die, kind of guy. But it seems he's cutting her some slack. As long as the debt's kept quiet. You with me so far? How does this help us? Okay, okay, okay. So this is just the background. You see, I did some more digging, and the thing is, Chloe isn't broke. 
She might not have Alexit, but she's got her a stash, a treasure trove of gems and jewelry, stuff she keeps as an emergency fund. So, she's not broke? Well, strictly speaking, she absolutely is. I'm not suggesting she's lying, at least not a straight lie. She doesn't have a shard to her name. It's just she does have a different sort of wealth. I know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who will pay a handsome sum for the treasure trove Chloe's hidden in her cellar. So you see, as luck would have it for you, me, and her, the rat has already started working on a plan to untangle this whole mess. You see, I have the key to her hidden stash. So, we just need to get in, get the stash, get out, sell everything, and suddenly, suddenly, you, me, Chloe, and the Duke, we all end up happy. Simple, huh? Give me the key. I will... Good decision. Here. But, be careful you don't... We will pay her... And... Can you go over the plan again? I keep Chloe busy. The stuff we're at... You get in. You get out. The rat take... Are you ready? Sure. Then let's get going.